Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty and today we're talking about Shantikai Holiday Collection. So the Shantikai Holiday Collection is a little bit on the smaller side this year and you are looking at three items in these beautiful pearl compacts. These are hand placed. They are faux pearl but they are all hand placed so each compact is going to be slightly different. You can see that it's not going to be flat on the top so, you know, it's really meant to be like displayed or something like that. One thing to note, these compacts are not refillable on either, uh, on any of them. So you've got the silver casing on the outside. These are lightweight. I think most of the weight is coming from the pearl and the adhesive there, but the actual container is lightweight, you know, like not sure exactly what it's made out of but it has more of that, the same like plasticky feeling that you might have from the Philanthropy Cheek Shades, if you have those casings. So these are made in Italy. This is the size of the highlighter and it's four and a half grams or 0.15 ounces and it has a shelf life of 18 months. So when you take a look at the front, you have a little click closure. Okay, so it will snap closed. And you have a mirror in here and you can see, I actually have not taken off. There's like a little um, plastic sheet that goes on top of there. You can remove that, but honestly, it's a little hard to see that's even there. So you may not even notice it at first. And then you have the beautiful imprint here. So this is the one that was on the DeGournay highlighter that came out, uh, I don't know, three, three years ago, maybe four years ago, but it's the same imprint. It's not the same highlighter. So uh, essentially, you know, Shantikai pay for the mold for, for uh, this particular thing. So you may see it come up again on other editions and so forth, but it is not the same highlighter. So this one here is called Pearl Lumiere and it has like a soft pink look to it. So let's take a look at this. I mean, look at that. So this is gonna give you a soft, subtle luminosity. I mean, you can see it on my cheeks now. And I think it's just a really stunning light pink uh, highlighter. I also picked up the blush in Akoya. And the blush is the same size as the Philanthropy Cheek Shade. So those are the ones with the little animals. And this is also made in Italy. I apologize, it's super hard to read on the back here. Uh, it has a two year shelf life. So same type of packaging, you've got the hand placed pearls, you've got the click closure, you have um, a little mirror here. This one, um, I actually did not get a piece of plastic on this one. This is a new formula. So this formula that they use for the blush is the same formula that was used for the one on the Flower Power blush, which I did not pick up. So that was like the orangey one that came out during the summer. And this, it's like a gel powder hybrid. Now you can still use brushes with this. So I know some people have asked me about the formula. It's very soft and silky. And when you touch it with your finger, you can feel like a little bit more. It's almost like there's like a little moisture and that's kind of what the, the gel thing feels like, but it is a powder and it's a really soft pink. It's actually a pretty neutral pink. You can see that there's some natural like luminosity to it. It's a little bit of a satin finish. And when the light hits it in certain ways, you'll see a little bit of like cooler tones. It's pretty neutral, but it leans slightly cool. And then the third item that came out, which I did not pick up because I already have it, is an eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow is the same size as the blush. And by the way, the blush is two grams or 0 0.07 ounces. So it will come in the same size packaging as the uh, as a blush, but it is going to be this duochrome shade from the blue or cool toned hummingbird palette that came out spring a couple of years ago. So it's this shade here and that has been confirmed by Shantikai. And look at this, you've got like bronze and like a plum purple kind of duochrome. So I have that on my eyes right now. I think it's a really beautiful shade. Let's go ahead and we're gonna cut to the uh, 
little demos of this. I do have a separate demo of the blush showing you some different blush applications, brush applications for that. So we're going to do those. Then we'll come back. We'll do some comparisons. We'll talk about the formula. All right, so we're going to start off with the eyeshadow. So I'm going to use the shade that's in the Hummingbird palette. And it's this one, which is the bottom, um, the bottom right hand shade. I'm going to use the Sonyuji Jumbo Blender. And this is the one that is in the Kiyaki set. So if you see the short handle, I don't have anything. Oh, there's a brush hair. Um, I don't have anything on my eyes, no primer or anything. So this is what the eyeshadow looks like on its own. It is a gorgeous, shifty shade. And then let me show you what it looks like with finger application as well. So you can see it's going to be a little bit deeper with the finger application. I'm just going to go ahead and make these even now, but um, let me just show you this from a distance first. All right, so brush, finger. All right, I'm just going to take a little bit of that with the Pencil One brush from Sonia G to put it under the lash line as well. All right, I'm going to finish off the eye with my favorite, and this is one of my favorite all, eyeliners of all time. This is the Chantecaille Luster Glide in Olive Brocade. Okay, I'm just going to smudge that a little bit. I think this um, eyeshadow looks really nice with greens, purples, um, even like a burgundy, gold, silver, or gray eyeliner. I mean, those are, I personally, I gravitate towards the olive brocade or a gray um, eyeliner, but those are just some of my favorites. All right, so I uh, um, added the Rare Beauty Mascara. I'm actually gonna go into the highlighter with the Pencil One brush. Just gonna get a tiny bit for the inner corner. And I think this highlighter, if, you know, you can actually use this as eyeshadow. It'd be very pretty. Soft, but pretty. There we go. All right, so we're going to move on to the cheeks, and we're using the Akoya blush. And I do have another demo showing you how this blush goes on with different brushes. So you can see something fluffy, something more dense. We're going to go with something in the middle. This is the classic cheek from Sonia G. So let's go ahead. And on my face, you can see pigment comes up very easily. On my face, I have the um, Sislea Le Tint Foundation and then the Rodeo Glass Powder. And look at this. It's a really pretty shade. And you can see this like luminosity here as well. I think it's really pretty. But yeah, I just realized because of the luminosity of the blush, I don't want you to, uh, you know, have a hard time seeing the highlighter. So let's go in with the highlighter first on the other side. I'm going to take the Chikahoto KZ3 into the highlighter. And I mean, this highlighter is really pretty. So just going to get a little bit on here. You can see that. And then let's dust this on. You can see that it can go on very, very softly. You get just this subtle sheen. There is a little bit of a, you know, pink hue to it. It's not too icy, not too warm. I just think that's really, really pretty. And let me just show you something a little more dense as well. So this is the Detail Pro from Sonia G. And we'll put this one right up here. As you can see, you can get it more intense. That. And here's the blush. So let's go ahead and we're going to add this to the blush. I'm going to use the Detail Pro here. We'll just go right on top here. And I'm going to add a little bit of this under the brows. And then let's go back and add blush to this side and uh, see how that goes. But I really think this highlighter is really pretty. I mean, look at that. that that's really pretty. Just gonna add a little bit more blush to this side. And we'll just top it with a little bit more highlight. All right, and I'm gonna add a lip and show you from a distance. 
All right, so this is the finished look. You can see the shift in the eyeshadows. It's really, it's a really pretty shift. Uh, it's a gorgeous shade. You can see the luminosity from the blush and the highlight. Very, you know, kind of like a sophisticated flush of pink. And I think the highlighter itself is a really sophisticated looking highlight. You know, it's not too garish and it's soft, but still there, you know. Uh, the lip that I added is Honeysuckle, the Honeysuckle Lip Chic from Chantecaille. And they just re-released this shade in the most recent fall collection. So if you are interested in the shade, it's technically a limited edition shade, um, but they'll be bringing it back periodically and it just came back this time. All right, so we're gonna try out the Chantecaille blush and we're using the Chikahodu KZ04. Just getting a little powder on here, knocking a little extra off. And let's start by stamping, see how pigmented it is. You can see a little bit of that soft pearly finish. I have on the Chanel Ultra Latent Foundation in BD01, and it's lightly dusted with the Rodeo Glass Powder. So matte finish today. I wanted to see how this like luminosity plays on the skin. All right, so let's go on to the other side. You know what? Let's actually try a different brush. On the other side, let's go in with something a little denser. This is the Sonia G Smooth Buffer. So we're just gonna pick up some product there and we'll start with stamping. You can see it's definitely more pigmented that way. And let's get a little bit more. You can see plenty of product it actually comes up. All right, so here's the difference in the brush applications. You're definitely gonna get more pigment from something like this, but it really depends what you're looking for. Let me show you from a distance. Okay, so this is the KZ4, which is a looser, fluffier squirrel brush, and the Sonia G Smooth Buffer, which is denser. It's obviously a buffing brush and it's goat hair. So you can see the difference. All right, so I hope that was helpful. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the highlighter comparisons. And the one that it made me think of the most is this one from Givenchy. This is the Tank Couture Shimmer Powder in 01 Shimmery Pink. And I love this highlighter. It's really, it's one of my favorites. It is slightly warmer in tone, but you are going to have a very similar effect on the skin. You can see the amount of like luminosity and shimmer is pretty similar. The difference is the Givenchy powder is gonna be a little bit more softly pressed. Like it's not as hard, firmly pressed as the Chantecaille. So you can pick up a little bit more product at a time. You can make it a little bit more intense than the Chantecaille. The Chantecaille is gonna be slightly more subtle all of the time. Whereas the Givenchy is a little bit more flexible in that. And then I also have this one from Chantecaille. This is the Le Payette, and I love this highlighter. It's so pretty. We're gonna swatch this pink one. I'm gonna put this one right on top. And this is the pink from it. So you can see that this one is definitely more beaming <laughs> than the new one. It's not quite as soft. It has a lot more reflect. So it's a more luminous highlighter. But aside from that, uh, the tones are pretty similar, but the Le Payette is gonna be slightly warmer than the new Pearl Lumia. A couple of others. This is from Shiseido. It's Medusa Pink, number one. Let's put that one right here. You can see this one is going to be the softest of all of my pink highlighters, actually. And it's gonna be a little bit less luminous, but because it is so light, it adds like a little like extra something. Um, you know, it's kind of more like if you dust it on top, you see a little bit more reflect of the light because it's a little bit lighter in coloration. Then we have two more to look at. This is the Suku Blush Palette in 101. So this is the light pink. And you can see that this one is definitely going to be deeper. And then last up, we have the Burberry pink pearl highlighter. And this is the same as the pink highlighter that you can buy individually, but this is the Burberry face palette in 01. 
which is fair to light. Let's put this one right here at the top. You can see that this is going to be pretty similar in tone. Like the actual colors are very close, but it's going to be a lot more beaming and vibrant, more like the other Chantecai, the Le Payette one. So the finish is going to be very different. Now, as for the highlighter, this retails for 110 US dollars. Yes, it's a pricey highlighter. You are paying for this packaging. Again, you've got hand-placed pearls. That takes a lot of time and this gorgeous imprint, but it is a really beautiful highlighter. I am very happy I ended up picking this up. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's appropriate, not just for the holidays, but all year. I think it's really beautiful. I like the formula. You know, it goes on very nicely. You don't pick up too much. If you're looking for kind of like something a little bit more than your, you know, everyday super subtle highlighter, this would be that. You can use it very subtly as well, but you know, there's just something about this that adds like another layer. <laughs> so I just think it's a really beautiful highlighter. So I, I really like this. If it is something that fits in your budget and it's something you're interested in, I don't think you would be disappointed with the product. All right. So moving on to blush comparisons, let's start off with the Dior blush. This is the limited edition 361. And we're gonna go ahead and, this one's not gonna be super close, but just wanted to compare it because it's another soft pink blush, but you can see the Dior is gonna be much warmer. It's also lighter. And then the one that it first made me think of is actually the Sicily Lafito blush in number one. This is called Pink Peony. And I'm gonna put this right next to it here so you can kind of see. Pink Peony is gonna be a little bit warmer. The formula of these are, slightly similar though. Um, you know, I feel like the Sicily one's a little bit more powdery than the Chantecai. The Chantecai's a little bit, um, you know, has a little bit more of that gel type texture to it. So it's a little bit creamier in a way. Um, this one though, you know, it's, they're, they're pretty similar in formulation. So you can see that the pink peony is going to be warmer in tone. Next, we have the Suku. This is one of the limited edition blushes in 126. Squeeze that one right here. You can see that one's going to be warmer and a little bit deeper. And then this is by request. This is the Divine Rose from Pat McGrath. This actually does not go with it because it's actually more mauve or mauve in tone. But it's a really beautiful blush also. And then this is the Makeup by Mario in Poppy Pink. This one, it goes on a little bit brighter, um, but yeah, so you can see that this one's going to be warmer in tone as well. And then the last one I wanted to look at here is a loose blush. This is the Givenchy Prisma Libra blush in number one, which is Mousseline Lilas. I, yep. Okay, so let me squeeze that right here. Okay, so coloration wise, the Givenchy is gonna be a little bit cooler in tone, but I think that finish wise on the cheek, uh, they actually end up looking kind of similar, like with the, yeah, just the way it, it looks on the cheek. So you can see that this is gonna be a little bit uh, more, it's a little more like purpley blue based uh, color in there. And I just remember there's one more highlighter I wanted to compare. This is the Westman Atelier Peau de Rose. Now, formula-wise, this is pretty different. We're gonna put this right here so you can kind of see how they go. You can see that it's gonna be a lot more pigmented. It's not really a soft pink, but I didn't wanna leave that out since I know it's a popular highlighter. So as for the actual blush, I think it's an absolutely beautiful blush. It has a wonderful formula. I hope they make more blushes in this formula. Packaging is the same as a highlighter, just smaller. So you can see the, them side by side here. So again, the highlighter is four and a half grams versus two grams for the blush and the eyeshadow. This retails for 75 US dollars. And, you know, it's a beautiful blush. You know, I think it's a really pretty pink. You can see that it is a little different from all of the pinks that I have. But at the same time, it's also kind of similar. So it depends whether it fits into, you know, your, your collection or not. But if it's something that you're interested in, 
you know, it's a product that's not going to disappoint based on the formula. Okay. So it's a really nice formula. It's a really nice color. It goes on very well. You can buff it in, you can apply it softly. You know, it's pretty versatile. It is kind of a light color though. So just keep that in mind. And then as for the eyeshadow, again, since I already had this shade in the Hummingbird Cool Quartet, I did not purchase it again. I think it's a really, really beautiful shade. And I can tell you now that if they had taken the slate shade from the Warm Palette and put it in one of these, I would have picked it up because that's like my favorite shade from Chantecaille. <laughs> that and the Elephant shade from the Luminescent Eyeshades. So, I, you know, if, if this is a shade that you absolutely love, this is a great way to get it. Or if it's one that you've been interested in, but you missed out on the quartet, this is a, a great way to get it as well. Now, $75 for one eyeshadow is a bit steep. So again, check your budget. Um, I don't have any other shadows that look quite like this one. There is nothing very similar um, in my collection. However, you know, you could probably find something relatively similar from an indie brand. I don't think you would get an exact dupe, but you could get something close enough probably uh, if you're looking for something a little bit less expensive. I, again, don't have anything like that. And as for the lip chic I wore, it's one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so honeysuckle, uh, definitely check that out if you are interested in those. And that sums up all of the items that I picked up. So the eye base, the Chantecaille eye base is also coming up. They just made that available for pre-order yesterday on Chantecaille or the day before yesterday. And it's supposed to be shipping out sometime next week. So I did order, it comes in two colors. It's supposed to be a creamy eye stick that you can use for eye primer and base. It's technically, you know, coming out at the same time as this collection. It's promoted with this collection, but I think it is permanent. Please, you know, don't quote me on that yet. I will try to double check on that before I have a video on the eye base. But uh, just so you know, that is something that is readily available for pre-order now. And I did pick that up, so I'll have that coming once I receive it. So uh, that is everything for today. And I would love to know what your thoughts are on this collection, uh, whether you're picking anything up, you know, what you think of the colors, the packaging, and so forth. So uh, thank you so much for tuning in. If this was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already and share this video with your friends. I'll see you very soon and have a great day. Stay safe and healthy.